I'm personally really, really excited about this, which is why I wanted to make sure we talked about it this week. Um, everyone's probably heard by now that Lionsgate is courting, um, which is an interesting word choice, but I kind of like it, courting Simon Beaufoy to write the screenplay for Catching Fire. Um, if you don't know who Simon Beaufoy is, he wrote the screenplays for most notably Slumdog Millionaire and 127 Hours, which are two incredible films. Um, and if you're wondering why Gary Ross won't be writing the screenplay again, which he did for The Hunger Games with Suzanne Collins, um, I read an article, I think it's Cinema Blend, that said Ross had been planning to adapt the second screenplay himself with Suzanne Collins again, but due to post-production duties for The Hunger Games, um, I guess he hasn't had the time to really, or he won't have the time to get involved in that. So they're looking for, they're looking to bring in um, an outsider to write the screenplay. I really hope that this happens because I think that Simon Beaufoy is an incredible screenwriter, and I really think he would just add another layer of awesomeness and credibility to Catching Fire. Um, yeah, what do you guys think? I'd, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Well, I mean, I'm I'm curious about it. I mean, the, I do. I, Plum Dog Millionaire and 127. I both those movies, 127 Hours and Plum Dog. I love. I like 127 Hours a little more. Um, and I'm just wondering if uh, without Danny Boyle, will uh, will his stuff look as good? Uh, I don't know because the scripts are good, but I thought Danny Boyle made those films really good. Um, I don't know. I'm, I I like I like him. I think he's a good screenwriter for sure. I just for me is uh, Catching Fire is, is my favorite book. So I just want it to be um, really. It's mine yeah. too, and it's never anyone else's favorite. Oh, I'm so excited. The reason why is because me, when I was oh. when I was reading it when I was reading that book, it reminded me, especially the end, without spoiling anything. Um, it reminded me of Empire Strikes Back, and I'm a huge Star Wars, the original trilogy fan. Um, there's a there's a scene at the very end of Catching Fire that just took me right back to to Empire and I the movie it really sets up kind of what this story is all about so I just want to make sure that you know what the screenwriter is brings that magic to it and I you know if Gary Ross is directing it again and then you know he's able to give his input I think the choice is actually pretty good. I think, I mean, just coming off of, I haven't seen 127 Hours, but I did see Slumdog, and I know that it was based off of a book, and the just the way that the world was presented and the way that it was, you know, translated from that book into the movie was great. So if that's yeah. any indication, then I have a good feeling about it. So that doesn't that scare you, though? I'm not scare you, but the thing is, uh, to that point, that was that was more Danny Boyle, though, than the screenwriter, don't you think? Well, I think it was, it was a bit of both. I mean, Danny Boyle definitely had a big part in it, but I mean, it's hard, it's hard to say. It's hard to say, um, and I'm not that familiar with Simon Beaufoy's other work. Um, what else did he do? The Full Monty. Um, yeah, I mean, he's got some good ones under his belt for sure. And I, I, I I'm not, I'm not, I'm not precluding the idea by any means. I think that you know, he's he's definitely a great screenwriter and has some. Oscar, uh, you know, Academy Awards buzz around him at you know at points, and he's he's a great he's a great writer. And right. if he and if he's there with working with Gary Ross, I, I think it's, a, it's you know there are far worse <laughs> screenwriters out there. Trust me. Adam, yeah, do you? I just, uh, yeah, yeah, I was going to say I know that. that you're a huge Slumdog Millionaire fan. I am, um, and I'm actually a, a really big Danny Boyle fan too. Even when I don't love his work, I still really admire. Uh, I guess his effort and energy and kind of the fact that he takes a different approach to filmmaking from others. But I kind of have to come on Christian's side here and, and say nothing against Simon Beaufoy. It's more a case of I really felt watching it that uh, especially Slumdog, but also 127 Hours, those were really uh, Danny Boyle films. I mean, it was truly his handiwork, I think, that left the imprint on viewers' minds. And so it remains to be seen um, how much Simon Beaufoy has really contributed. That being said, uh, we have nothing but good things to go on. So I think we're, odds right. are that he'd probably be pretty good. So I, I, well, I and, and maybe he's, 
Yeah, well, and maybe he's someone good to bring on, you know, for that reason, because, uh, you know, from what we can tell, The Hunger Games is going to be a really brilliant film, um, and we, you know, I don't think it's a bad thing necessarily if it still comes across as a Gary Ross film, just like, you know, Slumdog is very much a Danny Boyle film. Um, yeah, and you know, you know what the funny thing is, too, is the fact that this movie looks, I mean, especially from the trailer, it looks like it's going to be phenomenal, and Gary Ross didn't even do the first cast out of Billy Ray did, and Billy Ray, for me, I'm not a huge Billy Ray fan, um, so, you know, it, it's kind of much better screenwriter than Billy Ray. Um, yeah. So that, that's, uh, that, that's exciting. I think that, again, with Gary Ross and, and Collins both collaborating, I think that Catching Fire, I think Catching Fire is going to be the best of the, uh, the four movies. I, yeah, I absolutely agree with you. I'm so excited for it. I, oh, wow, I can't wait. You only have to wait till November 2013. It's not yeah, too please long. don't remind me. Um, no, then I won't tell you how many days it is, Dana. <laughs> yeah, Teresa, don't even go there. Um, <laughs> okay, any final thoughts on Simon Beaufoy? And then we'll do some grab bag for the remainder of the show. Um, the only thing I was going to say is that when it comes to, you know, as far as what we've seen um, with the collaboration on Hunger Games is we know that if, you know, if Gary and Suzanne are happy with something, they – will go and work it and make it the way that they think it should be. So not saying anything against him, not saying that he can't write a great screenplay, but I have every confidence here. They went in after, you know, and they reworked Danny Boyle's, you know, his his script to where they were happy with it and where, you know, obviously the actors um, who are fans of the book um, are very happy with, you know, with what's been written. I mean, as far as, you know, that they're allowed to say anyway. So I think... Um, no matter what he comes up with, I don't think there's any way that Gary and Suzanne are going to let um, what, you know, I, I think a lot of fans deem up as our baby to oh, yeah. um, go by the wayside. I think they'll, they'll, you know, if there's something that they're not happy with, I, they're, they're going to step in and say something. So sure. I think, um, um, I mean, he's got a great background, and I think he will do a good job. But I think no matter what, we've, you know, we have two people in our corner who are going to make sure that this is done right. Oh, I, I think you're right. I totally agree with you. The only thing that uh, that I hope that Lionsgate or whoever doesn't do, I hope they don't split this one into two movies because that's going to be hard for any screenwriter to to do. It's it's pretty much. I think I think we've had some confirmation um, as far as, especially from some of the foreign um, distributors, that Mockingjay is going to be the one that's going to be split. So I I don't think there'll be any any problem as far as that goes. I mean, it just, it seems like from everything that we're hearing that it's going to be Mockingjay. 